five, roll call, Mr. Me. I'm sorry, uh, call the meeting order, 706. Uh, Ms. Smith, Mr. Meek, myself, John Kites, are present. Uh, we're waiting on a, another uh, committee member. Um, and now let's open it up to public participation. Is there anyone signed up, Sabrina? There is not. There is not. Okay, well, let's, uh, if there's no uh, objection from the committee, I'm going to move, uh, go back to um, approval of the minutes uh, after uh, hopefully we get enough, we get one more person. And we'll move on to item two, new business, and that's building and code enforcement. Item one, authorize the comptroller's office to create a non-lapsing special revenue fund account to receive funds, sponsorships, and donations for neighborhood cleanups that can only be used on future or current neighborhood improvement initiative. Would someone like to move that? Thank you, Ms. Smith. Okay, Sabrina, do you mind uh, getting into it? Sure. So um, we have Keep Norwalk Beautiful and a few other initiatives that are through the Neighborhood Improvement Team through Building and Code Enforcement. So as we receive donations to those specific initiatives, we have no revenue account to be able to accept those donations at this point in time. Um, so the purpose of this account is really to be able to accept these donations and then make sure that it's tied specifically to neighborhood improvement initiatives, which is what the donations and the raised funds are specifically being donated for. Okay. Any questions? No? Okay. How about I'm just going to move that to the council and uh, hopefully okay. uh, let the record show uh, Councilwoman uh, Diana Revolus has joined us. Hi, Diana. Um, and, uh, and I just got to know, Darlene is, uh, uh, we, we said, uh, technical difficulties, bear with me one second, I'm going to forward her the, um, the link. Does she want me to resend it, John? I have, I have it open so I can do that. Yeah, I was having a problem with the links too, sorry. I just, uh, I just sent it to her. Okay. Sense. Okay. Um, hopefully she gets it and everything works out. Okay. Um, uh, so we're not going to vote on that. I'm just going to move that to the full council. And item two, authorized expenditures of $53,992.40 to purchase 20 garbage cans set for the Recycle Away LLC. There she is, via sole source procurement account number noted. Would someone like to move that? Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Mrs. All right, yeah, it's all you. All right, so we um, replaced a few of the garbage stations down in South Norwalk and on Wall Street and West Avenue. We're replacing the black cans that are, you know, rusted and kind of old with the dual stations. So it'll have the black can for regular garbage and then the blue can for the recycling, um, the recycling solutions. These cans are a little bit more improved than the ones we had in the past as well. They have a rain guard on them. They have a locking mechanism. Um, so they're really secure, number one. And number two, it kind of contains the garbage a little bit better than we had in the past. Um, this is kind of a second phase of this project for us. We've done, like I said, Wall Street, a little bit on North Main, South Main, and Wall Street and West Avenue. So these are just additional cans to slowly replace the older cans that we have out on the street. Okay, um, was that, am I correct with the, that the funding for this came from um, the monies from the, well, I don't know what to call NIP bottles, those little bottles that we, are taxed yeah. separately? Okay. Yeah. Okay, any questions? Sabrina, how sure. far into South Norwalk do those cans go? At this point in time, they only go to about the police station area and then down to almost the top of North Main, and they go all the way up and down Washington Street in its entirety. Um, I believe this this is in my project, so I don't know the exact locations, um, but those other cans that we had in, in the past, the older cans, those are those go deeper into South Norwalk along Ryan Park, along the new neighborhood streets, and then we also have a lot of them still out um, in the Wall Street West Avenue area because we just didn't have enough stations to replace them all. So eventually is the plan to replace them? And so are the older ones just as safe and secure as the new ones? So I guess those are two questions. 
Yeah, so the goal is to replace them all with the dual can stations to have the recycling option and the better can, which has the rain hood and the locking mechanism on the door. Um, the current ones, you know, they're fine. They overflow a little bit more frequently because they're not capped. Um, and because they don't have a rain guard, obviously, that causes issues as well. Um, and if you've seen some of the cans in the past, you can see like the liners have been ripped out of them because there's no locking mechanism on the on the mm -hmm. actual unit. Um, so the goal is to replace them all over time. And our goal is also to replace the advertisement signs as well, those garbage cans over time. Um, so we're just doing them in tranches as they go. But we've been keeping um, some of the older cans that are in good condition, just in case um, there is a need for a trash can and an immediate need where we can take an older can that we've repainted or that wasn't in terrible condition that we can re-put back on, on the street. Okay. Thank you. Yep. John, you're muted. Sorry. We don't we, we, we don't we don't have a stenographer here for the meeting? We don't. Sometimes they've been taking the recordings of the meeting and doing it out. Wow, how things have changed. I know. <laughs> no one gives no one gives a crap here. Okay. Um um let the record show, Darlene Young joined us at uh, 710. So now we have a quorum. So now I will call for the vote. All in favor, please raise your hand to signify yes. John, I think or, I, can I ask a question? Oh, sure. Oh, I'm Before sorry. I see your hand up. Yep, of course. Uh, really? $1,350 per garbage can? I mean, do these things have Wi Fi or dump themselves? What am I missing? They don't. Um, it is the cost of the can. We've looked at multiple manufacturers, and this is the only one that exists to service our area. And DPW is strongly recommending that we have the ones with the rain hoods and the locking mechanisms, which do increase the cost. Um, our older cans were around the same price, a little bit less. Um, but because of the structure of the can, it's steel and and powder coated pain and all of that stuff. It's, I was astonished at the cost of them as well, but where, it is where, it is. where, where could I see one of these that we have now? I'm just trying to picture what this $1,300 um, garbage can looks like. All along Washington street. I can try to bring it up as well really quickly. Okay. Well, I, I got an idea now. Okay. Yep, I, I'm not going to cool vote stand. against it, but I'll look at them before the council meeting. Yep, it's a, there's some on Wall Street, there's some on North Main, South Main, and Washington Street. Thanks. Yep. That's it. Any other questions? Seeing none, I will now call for the vote. All in favor, please raise your hand and signify yes. Or Aye. Say yes. Uh, abstentions, no's. No. Let the record show Ms. Let the record show Mr. Meek was opposed and the item passes. Okay, let's do a little backtracking here now that we have a quorum and that's the uh, item 1A, approval of the minutes of September 7, 2023 meeting. Um, any uh, deletions, omissions, corrections before I call for a vote? Seeing none, all in favor, please raise your hand and signify yes. Aye. Minutes pass unanimously. Okay, now moving down to item B1, and that's authorized the mayor, Harry W. Rilling, to execute an agreement with AR Soundstage Lighting for the purchase project 4323 stage lighting and sound services for Norlock holiday events for the total not to exceed 30,000. Um, account number noted. I'm actually going to, I'll uh, do 1B as well together, move them uh, as one, and that's to authorize the business development tourism director to issue an change orders on the contract for a total not to exceed three thousand dollars ten percent of the total contract cost count number noted would someone like to move that on thank you <laughs> perfect um sabrina yes so we um, went out to bid for our sound stage and lighting services for the two holiday events that we have in the city uh, last year, the parking authority uh, paid for these expenses because the parking authority sponsored the entire event. Um, now that the city is taking over the management and these events in their entirety, we did go out to bid for both of the holiday events. So this includes the Wall Street one as well as the South Norwalk one at 50 Washington Street. It includes the sound stage lighting 
um, DJs if you might need them, any barricades if you might need them, any generators if you might need them, um, as well as kind of the spotlights for repelling Santa and all that fun stuff um, that we have included. Um, we did receive three bids. One of them um, was astronomical. <laughs> it was from a city out of New York. Um, they included um, a lot of high priced items and the purchasing of a lot of items for us, which the other organizations already have the items for us to essentially rent them from them and use them instead of purchasing those items. So that's why you see the, the larger jump in cost for that one. And then the two um, more meager costs so the $44,000 for the Norwalk Conservatory of the Arts and the $30,000 for ARC um, were more on par with each other. Um, the $30,000 was obviously less, and that was what was recommended from the purchasing department and through the business development and tourism office. Number one, um, we've worked with them before. Um, number two, they've done the, they did the holiday events this past time as well. Um, and number three, they were the most cost effective for what they're providing for us. So that is what you see in front of you today. Barbara? Yeah, I'm just curious. Um... I know the parking authority paid last year, but I recollect that the cost was significantly higher with ARC for last year, um, hearing about that and just comparing it to the Halloween. Um, sounds like we're really getting quite a deal here. Yes. So last year was actually around $38,000. Um, I think we asked, we asked them about that as well. Like why was it $38,000 versus the $30,000 for the two, mm -hmm. um, same exact events. And our response that we got was that they know what to expect now. They know what they're uh, doing. Uh -huh. Um, so because they added like a little bit more to the bill last time, cause they had extra things that they didn't necessarily need for this go around. So, which is why it's a little bit less. The reason why the Halloween one was so expensive through them was because it had the entertainment intertwined. Um, so when you include, so the sound stage lighting, pyrotechnics, all those cool things that they did on the stage and the DJs, um, were actually, you know, like a little less than half. So it's probably around the same, the same price that we're looking at. But then when you add in the entertainment for the two, um, the good boys and laid back Luke and Ryan Cabrera into that bill, that's why you're getting that $75,000. But for this event, for these two events, actually, we're using local talent. So we're having um, the choirs from the schools and things like that and some dance academies. And we do make donations to those individuals. But, you know, we're not paying thousands of dollars for those folks. So that's, yeah, that's wonderful. Difference. Wonderful. And, you know, and the uh, entertainment was terrific for the yes. health event. <laughs> I mean, I, and, and like, you know, it drew a lot of people. So um, fantastic. All right. Thanks, Sabrina. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Mr. Meek, you have a question? Yeah, thanks. Just because, uh, speaking of the Halloween event, I dropped my son off there last week, and I noticed a bunch of uh, highway trucks and police sitting in their cars on Washington Street. Um, who, who's picking up the uh, overtime for those services? Do those come out of these local grants, or are those coming right out of the departmental expenditures of the various departments? So it so, you know, set up the cones, yeah. traffic, stuff like that. So we pay for all of that um, through our special events budget. So the police's operating budget is not paying for their overtime. We're using ARPA dollars and capital dollars to make event expenses. And those are all included in that. So that pays for EMS, police, um, and any extra staff time that we would need um, from those individual departments. Um, DPW, transportation, parking, mobility, they did that during normal working hours. So there was no extra cost to putting out the cones and putting up the signage. Um, but the police that would have, you know, were there for extra staff services and did have extra police there, you know, considering it was the first type of this event, they want to be overprepared rather than underprepared. Uh, we all pay for that through this, the separate event budgets. Uh, okay, so it's separate from the entertainment vendors then? Yes. Okay, yeah. thanks. Seeing no hands, uh, call for the vote. All in favor, please raise your hand and signify yes. Aye. Opposed? Meek, okay, so uh, motion passes. All right, so that was for 1 and 1B. Now we're moving on to B2, authorize the Comptroller's Office to create a non-lapsing special revenue fund account to receive funds, sponsorships, and donations for special events that can be only used in, on future or current special event expenses. 
So I'd this like to move is that. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara, Please. this is your meeting tonight. <laughs> Um, so this is, again, a special account that we're creating. We're starting to receive sponsorship for events, number one. Uh, number two, donations for events that aren't specifically tied to sponsorship packages. Um, and number three, if we ever want to sell a ticket of any sort, um, we want those funds to go back directly to funding and recouping costs for the, the events and for planning future events. So the creation of this account is really just to lockbox any donations, funds that we receive for special events and through special events to go directly back into that. Any questions? Yeah. All in favor, please raise your hand and signify yes. Yes. Motion passes unanimously. And uh, last but not least, item B3, authorize the comptroller's office to create a non-lapsing special revenue fund account to receive uh, funds, sponsorships, and donations for the Arts and Cultural District and Arts Cultural District Commission in accordance with the City Norwalk Ordinance Chapter 17A, Arts and Cultural Commission. Would someone like to move that? Thank you, Ms. Smith. Great job. All right, Sabrina. Yep. So a couple months ago, it, the Arts and Cultural Commission ordinance went through Common Council. Uh, part of that ordinance creates a special fund account that um, essentially creates a lockbox of funds for any fundraising that we're able to do, any ticket sales that we're able to make, anything like that within the cultural district itself, um, that we create that account so that those funds can be specifically only used within that district. Um, the ordinance kind of lays out all of the parameters for us, how much before we need to go to council, um, what we can spend it on directly. So this is actually just putting the ordinance into reality and creating that actual account through the comptroller's office for us. Any questions? Seeing none, I will now call for the vote. All in favor, please raise your hand. Aye. Motion passes unanimously. Great. That was quick and to the point. Great job, everyone. Um, now the final vote is... Um, all in favor of so insurance? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I was on a little late and I'm sure you probably mentioned it, but I just wanted to say my kudos and thanks to uh, Sabrina and your team um, for an amazing first time Halloween night. Um, you know, it's we can't control the weather, but we had a beautiful <laughs> day on on um that Friday was it Friday Saturday and on Saturday on Saturday <laughs> and I'll tell you we got there a little early um and you know the crowd was still kind of thin and I I left and I tell you I went over across town and probably within an hour or two of coming back into South Norwalk 50 Washington Street was full um with cars and you know there was traffic and that's to be expected but um I, I think it was a win-win for the city and, and the restaurants as well, because that was one of the things we were hoping that at least it was, you know, um, a good event for all. And I think that it was. So kudos to you um, and your team and the department. I couldn't, I couldn't have done it without all of you guys. And thank you all for coming to cut the ribbon, even though there weren't a ton of people out there to begin with. But we right. saw about four, we saw about 4,000 people. There were, you know, toddlers and 10 year olds still up and dancing at, you know, 1030. It, it was great to see with their grandparents. It was amazing. So I'm happy everybody um, enjoyed it and came out. It was a great event and we, we hope to do it again. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm just going to add to that. Um, these kind of events, you know, the holiday events and, and this Halloween event, it's what, it's what makes a city, a groovy city, you know, <laughs> we're just we're doing some awesome things and just bringing the community together and um it it's fantastic so you're doing a terrific job you and the whole team Sabrina thank you thanks I appreciate it it's a lot to do with our special events coordinator Anna I can't take a lot of that credit she's been she's been great and and pounding the pavement away since she started I threw her right into the fire so <laughs> she's yes. she's been doing well it's been great it's a great addition yeah Brian, I'm sorry. Do you see Brian John? Oh, Mr. Meek, please. Yeah, I just wanted to say, John, 
Thank you for your service. Go take your victory lap now. <laughs> Thank you. That's appreciated. I concur. I concur. Thank you, John. So that was the last thing. Thank you. Thank you, Don. It was a pleasure serving and learning under you. You all were, were here before I got here. And, and I just appreciate um, your time and service because it's not an easy thing to do. And so you've put in your time and um, the city's been better for it. You've moved us forward in, in a lot of these efforts. So thank you. Appreciate that, guys. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks, John. And all the best to you and your family. Thanking you as well. Sounds like you're moving away or something. Like you're doing it. You're not going. He, he's not going anywhere. You're not yeah. going anywhere. I'm going underground. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we know where to find you. <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you. All right. And all that being said, uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. All right. Favor. Thank you, guys. Have a good Bye. night. Have a good night, everyone.